Hi everyone, so this is lesson four. This is a ridiculously tough pack, uh, but there you go. Right, so let's have a look then. So it says, in an experiment to investigate the formation of ice on a body of water, a thin circular disc is placed on the surface of a tank of water. In a model of the situations, it's assumed that the disc of ice remains circular and its area is A. It increases at a rate which is proportional to its perimeter. And I've got like a show that bit here. So the, I've got the change in the area. So dA by dt is proportional to the perimeter. So I'll introduce my, um, my constant of proportionality. Now what the pack does, it says, because you have to show the k, use a different letter for the constant. So they use m. So it's up to you. You could leave it as k if you wanted to. And then the perimeter is 2 pi r. So I'm just saying here, because we need to show k at m, use a different letter. To be fair, I'd have just, I tend to just leave it with the K, but I'm just following what the pack does. Right, now here's my issue. I've got A on the left, and I've got R on the right. So what I need is, I don't want R, because when I rearrange it, I want A on moving around. So I don't want R, I want A. So I know that A is pi R squared. So I've got an equation that links A and R, but I need to get r equals. I want to replace this r with something related to a. So I can divide through by pi and then square root it to give me r. So now my dA by dt is m times 2 pi times the square root of a over pi. Now, if I stick everything together, which is a constant, so that's m times 2 pi divided by root pi. All of that is my constant times by root a. So I'm going to say for the constant that k is equal to m times 2 pi over root pi. So now my dA by dt is k root a. To be fair, and I just left it as k, and just have a k is k times 2 pi over root k. You know, you can do, you could like k1, k2, things like that. So, so that's fine, that's there. You can I am on three minutes there already. Lousers. So now I need to find the general solution. So dA by dt is k root a. So if I take it over, you imagine you're dividing by root a, so it's really a to the minus half dA is k dt. And I'm integrating both of those there. So if I integrate it, I get a to the half over a half, which is 2, is equal to kt plus c. Right then, so let's all think about this one. We have to make it a equal to. Uh, well, that's kind of... Right, isn't it? So I'd have a to the half, if I divide through by 2, is kt over 2 plus c over 2. k over 2 is a constant, which I'm going to call p. c over 2 is a constant, which I'm going to call q. And it tells me p and q are constants. So what I've got then is a to the half is, oh, times running out, times running out, it's p t plus q. So these are a little bit more messy, aren't they? And then I square the a, p t plus q, all squared. There you go, and that's part two done. I'm tempted, part three, to, um, to do it on a separate vid. So, okay, I'll do that actually.